welcome back to this vlog. I'm packing for Toronto right now. There's really two main days we have there and then two sort of half days. So uh, for one of the main days, I've got these mom jeans. This is an Aritzia Tiny Tank. I like them because I can wear them like instead of a bra. And then I've got this black crew neck. So the thought is crew neck for the day. And then like if we were to go grab a drink somewhere, I could just wear this tank top. And then for the next day, I've got these Abercrombie straight leg something jeans. They've got the little slit on the side. This white tank top I love. It's starting to get a little worse for wear, but I think that's really cute. And then this is also Abercrombie. It's a two-toned sweater. It's really soft. And I think I could tuck that in for the day because it looks like it's going to be kind of cold. I'm trying to keep it very neutral. And I think I need one dress and maybe like a half like a shirt or something for another day and then I'll be good. I'm trying to put as much as I can into this like bagu bag so that I can, we're flying flares so we can't bring like personal items and stuff unless you want to pay a bunch, but we're going to do one packed bag. So I think I'm going to put this in there so that when we're in Toronto, I can use this if we go around and like if I buy anything, I can keep it in here or I keep a water bottle in here, all of that. So that's what we're working with. Okay, so in addition to this, I'm also going to bring this yellow long sleeve shirt. I think this might be a good one to travel in. It's really stretchy and it will pack well. I'm going to bring a black scarf and then I'm going to bring my little fisherman style too because I think it's supposed to be pretty cold. I think that's the plan. I need a swimsuit and then I'm going to bring a little black dress and I think we are good to go except for like I'll probably wear leggings to get there. This is my favorite swimsuit. It's a one piece and it's all like adjustable and I just love this pattern. So I'm gonna bring this. Okay, I'm back. I thought I'd show you what I'm gonna bring in my purse. So with Flair, you're only allowed to bring a personal item. Uh, so I brought this purse. It's just like pretty normal size, but it fits a lot. And that's why I bought this one a few years ago and it's like my tried and true. So in the back, I've got some ginger gravel, Advil, Halls, a uh, sanitizer and lotion, just all kind of like things I might need over the week. Um, and here it's all my like healthcare info and like my number um, and just like other things that are generally in this purse that I don't want to take out and forget. We got my wallet here. I've got a whole bunch of masks. They're like a bunch folded into each type there. A pen and then sunglasses. And then I did also bring a few lip products. I have a trial size of the Sugar Fresh Lip Balm. I love this. I'm also like trying to get my nails back, so don't mind those. I've got the Clinique Black Honey. This is such a beautiful color. It looks great on just about anybody. My Merit Lip Oil Can't Live Without in Pink Beat. And then my new Merit Lipstick in Tiger, which I don't think I've shown yet. I am super obsessed with this. It's a ready kind of brown. I just feel like it looks very like clean and I just love the packaging on these so much. So that's what I've got for like all my lip stuff. Everything's under the milliliter allowance and that's what I'm gonna bring. I'll probably pop in a pair of headphones and my phone and that should be that. I'm 30, we are on our way. My purse is about to explode. Ben's already downstairs. We have a friend giving us a ride. Our flight's delayed. We've just arrived in Toronto and uh, off to an interesting start. My toe is a little more sore than I think Ben or I anticipated, so I'm having some trouble getting around. I'm limping a lot. So we ended up taking an Uber from the airport here, um, which is okay. It's not too pricey. It was actually about $43 and it was a really far drive. Like It was like over a half hour drive. So now we're just in our room. Ben's taking a shower to like wash off the airport. I need to change and then I think we're going to try to head out. I don't know how far we're gonna make it or if I'm gonna have to call Ubers. Um, we're just gonna see how it goes. It's uh, my birthday also, I am 30. Uh, 
yeah it kind of feels surreal to be honest i know like age is just number and like whatever it doesn't matter but it does feel like this was something like my whole life that that was the number of like oh you're an adult that's the number um so it feels interesting to reach it but anyway we're here i feel kind of greasy and gross i've got my leggings on i was thinking of maybe trying to make a coffee before we head out and then um we're going to go check out this like Italian market is kind of the plan tonight because we were both thinking like pasta would be good and I think it's a place where you can get just like pizza or whatever and um, tomorrow will probably be when we go over to some more areas to check out like shops and cute things but first impressions it's giant there's so many apartment buildings kind of ugly <laughs> but I think that's like a winter in Canada kind of thing there's like obviously no greenery and it's just like a lot of buildings and we're staying downtown which I thought was the right call but when we were driving through I was like oh it doesn't really look like there's a lot around here so this is maybe not the right kind of area to stay in uh, but I'll see as we explore more I'll keep you updated it's my first time here and uh, I'll just keep you posted flight was good we took flair so cheap you don't even get like a coffee so I don't think I'd take them again unless I got a real good deal but we just paid basically like normal prices for it so it was okay we was kind of a last minute trip so considering everything's good and um yeah i'm excited to take you along and explore with me i'm just concerned about the foot but otherwise i'm very excited this is also the room not bad Italian market so we just explored all upstairs there was like cheeses pasta pizza everything you could want then they're trying to decide how we can get chunks of parmesan back to Calgary without it going bad and I think we're gonna get one so I haven't seen a whole lot of that in Calgary I also popped into Ritzia I grabbed more socks because my feet can only survive in these bird sandals which is like horrible but they're the only things that really work right now and so I just grabbed some more tall white socks that are really like um light so that they aren't like constricting my feet and then now we're in a place in the basement of this Italian market called Bio Redica and we're gonna do some beer flights because they've got lots of really good looking beers um and yeah I'm just having a whole lot of fun exploring so far walking better and uh, I'm excited I also got a little top of Ritz to try on but I'll let you know if it's good Hello again. I'm back in the room. Ben's just run down to find us some treats. Uh, we went for pasta. So yeah, so I last caught up with you at the brewery. We had flights. The beer was really good. I actually bought a couple bottles and started Ben that we're going to have over the next couple days. And then we went upstairs. So we were in Italy. It's like a whole Italian market thing. It's like three or four floors. So we went up to kind of the top floor where there's like a whole market uh, we shopped through there for quite a while and there's so many things we both wanted to buy but unfortunately like I don't think we could bring it all home but I do wish we bought some of the cheese because I think we could have brought that back but maybe we'll go back we'll see and then we ended up going to this like pizza pasta kind of restaurant bit and we both got pasta and it was so good I got a pomodoro and he got like a bolognese and uh hopefully I'm saying that right but it was really really good and then after that, we were both feeling like a little buzzed and we were having fun. But then my parents did want to call me because it's my birthday. So we were kind of like debating, like, do we go try to find another bar? Like it is Monday night and everything we were searching was kind of far-ish away. So we were like, okay, it's kind of a commitment if we go somewhere. And then like also I have to figure out how to call my parents. So we ended up just coming back to the hotel tonight. I think it's for the best. I don't want to overdo it with my foot. And I also think tomorrow is going to be like a really busy day and... There's a couple of cocktail places I want to check out tomorrow, so I want to kind of save up, like, my energy for that and my, like, ability to drink more. Anyway, so we're back here now. We're going to have a beer, I think. I, we also bought a slice of pizza when we were leaving, so I've been eating a little bit of that. And then, um, I think that's pretty much the vibe. We're going to, we talked to my parents. That was sweet. And Ben's been out and about trying to find us ice, and then now 
trying to find some treats at the little like market in this hotel. So I'm like hobbling a little bit here, but we walked home half the way, I'd say about half. And it seemed really fun. Like there was so many places to check out. It looked like there was like so, so many food places we could stop in to grab like snacks or just treats. Like you could just eat all day. But um, first impressions after kind of getting out and about a little bit. Yeah, it's like a city. It's a big city. It seems so far not as busy as I expected, but we might be in the wrong areas, I think. We went over to Bloor Street and then we walked down Young, I think, on the way back. And so it was like sort of busy, but I mean, it's a Monday. Um, looks like there's like lots of places to go, but so far I haven't seen like a whole lot that I'm like, ooh, like I'd love to live there. But I think tomorrow we're gonna see more of those areas. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I picked up at Aritzia. Popped in very quickly because it was the biggest Aritzia I've ever seen and I'm an Aritzia girly, I love it. And uh, yeah, I was just like in heaven and Ben doesn't love shopping, but I was like, let me have this. I mean, he doesn't care anyway, but I'm like, let me just like exist in here for a while and then we'll go to other things. And while we were in there too, I was talking to the cashier. I have clips of this, but she was so lovely. I was telling her we were like visiting and she ended up giving Ben and I both a token for a free drink at like the AOK cafe. So thank you so much to that cashier who definitely watches my vlogs, <laughs> but that was just really, really sweet. And we both like got a free drink and caffeined up before dinner. So that was awesome. Um, okay. I grabbed the Wilfred only crew sock because I need some socks to wear with my Burks. And then, oh, Ben's back. I'm vlogging. Um, and then I got, this is called the contour tank top, which I didn't know they made tank tops. So it's like in a pearl color it's called, but it's kind of like an off white, you can kind of tell against my jeans maybe a little better. It's like an off-white cream color. I have not tried this on yet, so I need to try it on, but that just looks like, I hope it looks as amazing as I'm picturing. And now I've got treats. Okay, I think we're gonna wind down tonight and I'll catch you tomorrow. today but up until now it's pretty nice hello 
again, it's Wednesday. It's our last like full day here. And let's see, yesterday we went and explored like the Kensington market area and then a little bit around, I think like West East Dundas, Dundas, Dundas. And it was okay. We weren't like super feeling it. I was looking for more of a shopping area, which we found today, which is Queen Street West. Um, so last night anyway, so we went and did wandering that area. And then we ended up going up the CN Tower, which was really, really cool. And then we went across the street to like the Steam Whistle Brewery, which was really fun too. And then in the evening, we went to the Shameful Tiki Room on Queen Street West, and then a little cocktail bar called Mother. Um, and it was really amazing. And then today we just went and explored all around Queen Street and I did some shopping. So I'll show you what I got uh, probably when I'm back home. And then tonight we've got a Raptors game. So we're back for a little bit, might go do a swim or a sauna, and then we're gonna get ready for the game. So fun so far, the toe is a little sore, um, but it's been really nice and I've been getting around. Okay. <laughs> I put my hair in a bun for like 15 minutes while we went and did like a very quick swim. It didn't get wet. And then <laughs> I went in the sauna for like five minutes. It was straight, y'all. <laughs> it's so damaged. It's fine. As long as I can still kind of make it look okay, that's really all I care about. Anyway, I'm sitting in bed. I'm just having a white claw and Ben has just run down because we can't get room service and we kind of want to get a little snack before the game. I'm trying to think of, I checked in a little bit earlier, I think before we went down to the pool, but um, it's been a really fun day. It's been a really fun trip. We had an absolute blast last night, out last night having some drinks. We have so many like funny jokes that came from just like being out. Ben and I do like so many bits with each other and it's like fun that now we're getting to experience a trip together because we've only ever really gone to visit family together because we've dated pretty much all through um, the pandemic. So we haven't had a lot of opportunities. So this is really our first like trip and it's been so fun. I'm just like so happy we've gotten to do it. I wish my toe was like a little bit better because I feel like I am slowing him down a little. Like I can tell he'd probably like to explore just a little bit more than we're getting to, but we're doing our like the most we can. Um, we went to this like little English pub too right before we came back to the room and that was like amazing. I just got a turkey sandwich and a soup and a salad and it was just like what you need. You know, on vacation, even if I go for like a day or two just eating crappy that whole time and drinking and like you feel crappy so quick. So that was like a really nice meal. But yeah, anyway, he's going to get us a snack. I'm just hanging out here. I was thinking of showing you guys what I've bought, but I think I'm going to just wait. Maybe... You know what? Maybe I'll just show you real quick, actually. One sec. Okay, you didn't notice that, but I was just gone for a second. I kind of want this vlog to, I think, end, like, as we get to the airport and stuff so that I can, like, restart fresh once I'm back in Calgary. So I'm going to do this little haul now and show you what I've picked up while we've been in Toronto. Um, I did show you that Aritzia tank already. It's the contour tank, which I believe is new. I'm not totally sure. I'm not really familiar with, like, the contour line that well. But... So I'm trying to show you a little more room here. But I find when I kind of push my shoulders back, it bends in the back and sits out straight. So I've ordered it in a small, um, as well as in another color to try out when I get back to Calgary. And like Aritzia is everywhere. So I'm just going to bring that one home. I'll still have a couple days to do a return or exchange when I get home. And then um, if the smaller size fits, uh, hopefully it'll be there by the time I get back. And then I can just swap them out. And I figured that was just easier. I could have gone and done it here, but I didn't know like what neighborhood we'd be in and I didn't want to carry it around with me in case it got ruined or something. Um, so today, went to a few places on Queen Street West. Um, first, I went to like the NYX store, just picked up a thong, but like the stuff in there is so incredible. Like they didn't have very much inventory. That was kind of what was a bummer. I was gonna get like a bunch of underwear because I love NYX and I love specifically like, their period line but they really didn't have anything. So shipping's kind of expensive, which is why I didn't want to order it online, but whatever. So I just got like a plain normal thong. I didn't even know they did normal underwear to be quite honest. Um, I went to this random store that accepted Neo and did cash back. So I bought this ring that was $10, but I got back almost $2. So a steal, but it's just a little like enamel or resin or whatever ring, but it's just about my skin color, which I kind of like. and. I'm not putting a fully on because my hands are a little swollen right now, but it's just got little kind of like 
brown in it, caramel. It looks good with my gold rings. So love that. I'll show you the color actually a little better. I think you can see the colors just a little bit better here. Love me my gold jewelry, but I just thought that would be nice. You see how red I'm getting? It's like, we can't get the AC in here to work and it's hot. Okay. I also went to CB2 because I always look at them online. I don't think we have one in Calgary and if we do, then oops, but um, I've always wanted to just like keep around. There's so many things I wanted that I cannot afford, but I did get this little honey stick. I am a huge honey fan. I think honey is so good for you. So natural, amazing. Um, also good for allergies for some people. Um, so I got this for honey. It's very like heavy, like weighted and it's beautiful and I'm obsessed. I love gold brass, brassier gold stuff. And I know I will use that every single day. So there you go, that's that. I feel like Ben's gonna walk in I'll just be doing this weird little haul. Um, I popped into H&M because Ben actually needed something and while I was there, I just got sucked in. But I just grabbed this white tank top. It was like 15 bucks and it's nice and thick. So easy to go braless with. I like the fit of it. I just love this exact style of tank top. Um, and I know they are everywhere and like I have some of the Aritzia ones and whatever, but they're really thin. I just wanted like a thick. So I have a black one I wear all the time in the summer that's like a thick black. So that is gonna get tons and tons of use. And then the most kind of splurge item, I guess that I got, which still wasn't like too, too bad, um, but was this long sleeve from cotton, I don't know why I said it like that, but you can see it's just this ribbed long sleeve. I love that the sleeves are sort of like a, just like a cut hem at the end, but she did say like they don't really roll up. And then the sides of the shirt have these little slits and it's just this beautiful like cream color. Everything I've bought is like white or cream. I'm obviously on a mood and I love that. And that is everything. <laughs> Feels back. And that's everything that I got. And with that one, I got this little tote bag. So, you yeah. love. today <laughs> we're wandering around today we've just done what was the first street we did uh, Bloor. <laughs> Bloor. and then no we were first on um dundas, dundas. then we took dundas. the subway over to Bloor, and we went in the eaton center i think that was before no, we went over a lot of stuff we went back to Bloor to go back to the italian market so we've each got chunks of parmesan Parmigiano Reggiano <laughs> to take home. And we've got just a couple hours left before we have to head out to the airport. It's very beautiful today. It's like a little wet, but way warmer. A little windy though, but it's hot. Struggling. And there's a very cute dog over here with shoes on. <laughs> Trying to bend. The best part of where we've stayed really pretty. It's called the Double Tree Hilton. They give you warm cookies when you're coming and going. Jing is also a very nice bellhop. They are doing construction over there though, which was a little bit noisy, but it's really pretty. There's a pool. This street's kind of ugly, but it's like right near everything. So I recommend. 